Who is the next MLS player that's likely to be sold for a large sum? Hello everyone, welcome back to MLS Moves. Please make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. These are the top five most valuable players in MLS who I think could be sold sooner than later. Coming in at number five is Alan Velasco. Velasco was a record signing for FC Dallas for 6.4 million euros after they had sold U.S. men's national team forward Ricardo Pepe to Augsburg for a club record fee in 2022. Velasco has been the best player for FC Dallas the last few seasons and had stated back in August, though, that he wanted to return to Argentina to his boyhood club, Independiente. His current transfer market value comes in at 7 million euros. One of Velasco's standout qualities is his technical ability. He has excellent ball control and dribbling skills, allowing him to navigate through tight spaces and take on defenders with ease. His close control of the ball enables him to maintain possession and create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. Despite his young age, Velasco also displays a high level of maturity and intelligence on the field. He understands the importance of teamwork and his willingness to contribute defensively, pressing opponents and tracking back to support his team. I am positive we will see the young winger back in Argentina or in Europe soon. Coming in at number four is Facundo Torres. Torres has been very good and essential to Orlando City's winning as of late under manager Oscar Pereja. Torres was a club record signing for the team when they paid 6.8 million euros to Pina Roll in 2022. He currently has a transfer market value of 14 million euros. He was brought in to replace Portugal legend and former Manchester United winger Nani. Torres is a versatile player who can operate in various positions across the attacking third, making him a valuable asset for Orlando City. One of Torres' notable attributes is his ability to dribble past opponents with ease. He excels in one-on-one -on -one situations using his quick feet, speed, and close ball control to navigate through tight spaces and create scoring chances. His agility and acceleration allow him to evade defenders and maintain possession under pressure. He has been a regular for the Uruguayan national team as of late, and I think he will be in Europe before the season is over. Coming in at number three is Ricky Puj. Puj was a Barcelona Academy product who got many chances to play with the senior team at Barca, but could never consistently put it all together and stay as a regular in the starting 11. Puj did something unprecedented when he decided to come to MLS at the age of 22 and leave Barcelona. He had many opportunities to stay in Europe with some good clubs, but chose to come to the LA Galaxy. He currently has a transfer market value of 12 million euros. He has been a star for the club ever since he made his first appearance. He is known for his unique and exciting play style. The young Spanish player has garnered attention for his exceptional technical skills, agility, and creativity on the field. One of Puja's standout traits is his close ball control. He possesses the ability to keep the ball glued to his feet even in tight spaces, making it difficult for opponents to dispossess him. Puig is one of the best passers in the league, if not the best passer outside of Leo Messi, with his pinpoint accuracy, long ball vision, and his playmaking ability that MLS has not seen regularly in its history. Puig's quick footwork and agility allow him to maneuver through crowded areas and create spaces for himself and his teammates. At certain points when Puj is playing to his best ability, he looks like the best player in MLS and like he won't be sticking around or is too good to be playing in this league. I won't be surprised to see Puig return to Europe sometime soon. Coming in at number two is Denny Buanga. Buanga came to LAFC from St. Santatenia for 4.5 million euros in 2022. He has been a star ever since he arrived, winning an MLS Cup with the club in his first year and then the MLS Golden Boot in 2023. Buanga is known for his agility and dribbling, which enables him to take on defenders and deliver accurate crosses into the box. There have been rumors that Buanga wants to return home to his family in France and has been homesick. The player is almost irreplaceable in my eyes for the club for what he has been able to do and how many goals he's been able to score since he's been here. He has a current transfer market value of 10 million euros, which many clubs would pay in a heartbeat for his level of production. It will be interesting to see if he ends up staying in LAFC or he ends up going back home to France. Coming in at number one is Thiago Almada. Almada was a record signing for Atlanta United in 2022. They paid over 15 million euros 
for the Argentine attacking midfielder, and it looks like he will be sold sooner than later for what looks like a record transfer fee in MLS that was previously set by Atlanta as they sold Miguel Amaron to Newcastle for reported 24 million euros. Almada currently has a transfer market value of 27 million euros as it currently stands. Almada possesses excellent dribbling ability, allowing him to effortlessly glide past defenders. Some of the teams interested in him in the past this past summer were Ajax and Napoli. Of the ball and quick change of direction make him a nightmare for opponents. His passing accuracy and vision also enable him to create scoring opportunities for his teammates. One of Almada's standout qualities is his versatility. He can play in various positions across the attacking midfield, adapting seamlessly to different tactical systems. Whether deployed as a central playmaker or on the wings, Almada consistently displays intelligence and creativity in his decision making. Almada has been one of the best players hands down in MLS since his arrival, and he will be hard to replace for Atlanta when he is inevitably sold this summer or at the end of the season. Let me know in the comment section if you agree with my list and who you would have as your top five most valuable players that could be sold in MLS. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification so you never miss a video. And until next time, I will see you all soon.